Whether it's in a rainstorm, lounging at the pool, or even in the restroom, there are times when your phone is in danger of getting soaked. I'm Sharon Vaknin from CNET.com, here with some tips on how to save a cell phone. Once you realize your phone got wet, it may be your instinct to hit the power button. Do not try to turn it on yet. Remember what happens if you drop a blow dryer in water? Water and electricity don't mix. Your device will quickly short circuit and you've earned yourself a paperweight. Another thing to avoid is, well, blow drying your device. Though it's true your device will dry out, you'll likely burn it in the process. Instead, the first thing you'll want to do is take out all removable parts, like a battery, SIM card, or memory card, and pat everything dry. Then, you'll want to try to extract all of the remaining water. Extracting the water can be done in three ways. The most common method is the rice bag method. When cooking rice, the water is absorbed into the rice grains. So, let's apply that science to water in your phone. Simply take your phone, including all the parts you've removed, and put them in a bag of uncooked rice. Let it sit for 24 to 72 hours, depending on your anxiety levels. A lesser known way to dry your device is by using silica packets. They're those pouches of beads that come in most devices, purses, and of course, man purses, or MERSes. With this method, just take a Ziploc bag, fill it with silica packets, and drop in your gadget. Like rice, silica absorbs moisture, and your device should be liquid-free in one to three days. Realistically, most of us don't have a stash of silica packets, but have no fear. They're readily available online. Order them quickly and keep a supply around for future water accidents. Now, these methods can work wonders, but if you want a more dedicated solution, try the Beastie Bag. At first, we thought it looked like a gimmick, so we tested it with an MP3 player we dropped in water. Lo and behold, it works. The airtight pouch is filled with moisture-absorbing beads, so it acts a lot like rice or silica. Just pop your phone and its parts into the bag, Wait 24 to 72 hours, and all the water will be extracted. At $20, it's not the cheapest solution, but it definitely beats buying a replacement phone. Regardless of the method you choose, once you've waited the requisite 24 to 72 hours, just remove all the parts from the bag, put your gadget back together, and hit the power button. With any luck, you'll see the device power on as usual. If so, you've successfully rescued your device. And these methods should work for many of your devices, from phones to MP3 players and even digital cameras. Just remember, if you are forced to try one of these methods, manufacturers still have sneaky ways of telling if a device has been drenched. Chances are you've voided your warranty, but at least your phone works again. And just a side note, if you find yourself soaking your phone or MP3 player over and over again, you might consider buying waterproof gadgets. For CNET.com, I'm Sharon Vaknin, and I'll see you on the next How To. Hey, I'm Tom Merritt, host of CNET's Top 5. You know, there are many more than five reasons why you might want to watch Top 5. You can get a load of the best gadgets out there, the most popular ones, the worst downloads, top TV robots, and there's always a chance you could win fabulous prizes. Check out CNET Top 5 at CNET.com slash Top 5.